Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve another very very popular and important Google coding interview question on lead code 13 Roman 20 jar. As you can see here from like dislike ratio, this is a very very likable coding interview problem, very uh, popular coding interview problem as well. <clears throat> so we are going to go through this problem today. We are going to understand this problem, its logic as well as its Java solution code. So let's start. Roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. So these are the symbols and their values, right? So I is for 1, V is for 5, X is for 10, L is for 50, C is for 100, D is for 500, and M is for 1000. For example, 2 is written as I and I in Roman numeral. Just two ones added together. 12 is written as XII, which is simply X plus 2, right? The uh, number 27 is written as XXVII, which is XX plus V plus 2, right? II. Roman numerals are usually written largest to smallest from left to right. However, the numeral for 4 is not uh, I, I 4 times is not 4 basically, but 4 is I and V. I and V is 4 basically. Alright. So this, they are saying that these are the exceptions. Because the 1 is before the 5, we subtract it making it 4. Right. So you first uh, like 5 minus 1, you will make it 4 basically like this. Right. The same principle applies to number 9. I X right is 9. So 10 minus 1 becomes 9. So I can be placed before V and X to make 4 and 9, right? X can be placed before L and C so that it becomes 40 and 90. And C can be placed before D so it will become 400 and 900. So 500 minus 100 will become 400 and 1000 minus 100 will become 900, right? So these are some exception rules for Roman numerals, right? Given a Roman numeral, convert it into integer. So this is what the problem says. Uh, the constraint says that the s dot length is between 1 to 15. So 15 uh, maximum characters will be given into that string. And it s contains only these seven characters, which are Roman characters, right? I, V, X, L, C, D, M. Right? And it is guaranteed that X is a valid Roman numeral in the range of 1, 2, 3, 9, 9, 9. Okay, so uh, this is what the problem says. So let's understand this problem with few examples so it will be more clear for you. So there are a couple of examples here, right? So this is one example. So <clears throat> here uh, to find out what this corresponding integer value is, so L stands for 50, right? So this L stands for 50, then we have to add 5, so 5, and then this I, I, I 3 times means you will add 3 basically. So it will give you 58, right? 58 is the corresponding integer number for this Roman numeral, right? X, I, V. So X, I, V becomes 14 basically, right? So X, I, V becomes 14. Why? Because this is 10 and this is 4. So 10 plus 4 is 14, okay? And this is another example where C stands for 100, then L stands for 50, X, I, X stands for 10, I, V stands for 4, right? I, V stands for 4. So if you calculate this total, it will give you 164, right? This is another example. So this is the integer corresponding to C, L, X, I, V, right? So this is what we have to find out, okay? So the problem statement is pretty clear, right? So how can we solve this problem? So they have already given us these seven uh, symbols and their values. So what we can do, so very important thing here uh, to solve this problem is we are going to go from right to left, right? Right to left, this is a very important thing. So uh, for example, i, 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 so you know the value of i. So we'll create one result variable, right? We'll create one result variable and we'll keep adding these values right so i so uh, result will become one then again i again it will be added to one so it will become two i again add added to two so it will become three 
so v is 5 so 5 is added to 3 right so it will become 8 and then you go to l l is 50 so you 50 will be added to 8 so it will give you 58 right okay so this is a, a example where there are no exceptions right where there are no exceptions what happens when there are exceptions so let's take a look at this example so there are some exceptions here right so um, we'll understand here so now result is zero so you will go from right to left so v means you will add this value to result will become five right now you are going to and you will also at the same time you have to also maintain the previous value right that previous value so now your previous value is 5 basically right whenever you add this value 5 your previous is character value right this character value you have to store so it is 5 so you will go to this i now i value is 1 right so your current value is less than your previous value right previous value is 5 current value is 1 it means that you have to subtract that 1 from this 5 right it means that you have to subtract 1 from this result so you will subtract that from result so it will become 4 your previous value become 1 right now x x is 10 right so your uh, next value is 10 10 is not a less than 1 right so you have to just add 10 into this 4 so it will give you 14 right so this is how you will handle the exception cases you see what i mean exception cases means so whenever you get this value which is less than your previously seen this value of character right so this v is 5 your next value you are looking is 1 it is less than that right so it means that you will subtract one from that from the result right okay here you will add it into the result because this is not less right this is one and your next value is five which is more than one right so you will add it basically right this is how you will handle the exceptions right so i hope you understood this logic with these examples right so this is another straightforward uh, example here so um, again same thing right so here let's just do this also quickly so result is zero in the beginning right so you have to keep track of the previous character right so so five right so you will add this five your previous character become five right result is five you are going to one your previous character is now um, this current character is less than previous right current is less than previous so it means that you will have to subtract that one from the result so your result will become four right your previous character will become one right okay x x you will have to add because your current value is 10 your previous value is one right so 10 is not less than one so you will add that value here so it will become 14 now then uh, you will keep going right l is 50 so you will add 50 here so 50 plus uh, uh, 14 is uh, 64 right and then you go to the c 100 100 you have to add so it will become 164 right so this is how you will calculate this numerical value for that roman numeral right you got it right so important thing to understand in we are going to go through right from right to left basically right okay so let's go ahead take a look at the java solution so you understand this clearly so roman to int is the method where implementing a string s is given to us this method returns integer so value is the value that is currently used value right so uh, for the switch case so we will be uh, this is a perfect example where we can use a switch and case statement right because there are say one cases to handle right so um, result is the result to store the result that will um, return at the end the result is basically the corresponding um, integer value right previous value is the previous character that i explained you right this previous character so that's what we will use and store it so we'll start looping through the uh, string but we are going from right to left basically so you are going from end to the beginning so as you can see i is s dot length minus one i is greater than equal to zero i minus minus correct you read that corresponding ith character right if the character is i right if it is i then your value is one you will break you found what the value is right if it is v value is five break 
x value is 10 break l value is 50 break c value is 100 break d value is 500 break m value is 1000 break right so now you understood what the value is your current value right okay now you will check your previous value and current value if your previous value is zero which will happen in the beginning right in the beginning in that case you have to directly add the value into the result right and your previous value becomes the l right you got it right this will happen first time now if your previous value is greater than the value <coughs> so if your current value is less than previous value we need to subtract from result right for example this case i and v your current value is less than your previous value right so that's what we are checking so previous value is greater than current value right so you will have to subtract the value from result right and previous value is equal to value correct so this one is clear to you this is the exception case right i x or i v those cases okay now else you have to just add the value into the result uh, and then previous value is equal to value right at the end you have to just return the result right and that's it then this should do uh, uh, this problem so let's run this code and make sure it gives us correct answers so for the first one we are going to expect 3 here so 3 is the correct answer as you can see second one we should get 58 the second test case 58 is correct answer for third one we should get 1994 1994 correct answer these are uh, I created two more cases here so this is uh, case which is 14 we are getting 14 correct answer and this is the case where we are getting 164 is again correct answer submit this code to the lead code make sure it gets accepted and as you can see the code is successfully accepted by the lead code it is 100 percent faster on the performance side and 99.43 percent faster on the memory usage which is a very very good solution to solve this google coding problem roman to integer it's on lead code 13 so I hope you understood this logic as well as this Java solution code clearly. <clears throat> so um, let's talk about the time complexity and space complexity for this code. So we are going to go through each of the character in that given string which means that the time complexity for this code is order of n where n is total number of characters in that string right and space complexity for this solution is order of 1. This is also called as constant because we did not use any extra space here right these variables and all um, this is not extra space so it means that this is a constant space or o1 okay so um, i'm going to add this java code in my github repository and give you the link of this code so you can check it out there are lots of other important algorithms and java solutions already implemented and available there for you don't forget to check them out they are very important ones from interview perspective if you like the Java solutions in the GitHub repository, consider giving it a star on the GitHub repository. That would be great. If you are new to this channel, we have created a very important coding interview related playlist to help your interview rounds. The name of that playlist is Lead Code and Lint Code Solutions. We have compiled more than 200 most frequently asked very important coding interview problems for you under one playlist. Those problems were asked by Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Yahoo many many times in their interviews. So those are very very important problems. Make sure you go through them, understand them well. If you go through those videos, you are going to uh, learn a lot of data structures, algorithms, problem solving, logic building, Java programming and coding. It will also help you learn lots of new techniques, lots of new ways of solving different computer science related problems. Uh, and uh, it will also help you learn lots of Java coding from this channel. So if you, uh, so make sure you so, uh, uh, check out those solved coding problems. The name of that very important playlist here is Lead Code and Lint Code Solutions. Now, if you are a fresher junior level developer and you want to practice more coding problems to help your practicing purpose, we have created three other playlists here for you. The names of those playlists are Code Forces Code Chef at Coder. Code Forces Code Chef at Coder. All in all, more than 800 different varieties of problems are here to help your interview preparation and learning process. On this channel, you will see and find lots of important videos uh, that discusses how to solve different data structure and algorithmic problems that includes graphs, matrices, binary search trees, binary trees, breadth first search, depth first search, cadence algorithm, binary search algorithm, Kruskal's algorithm, Dijkstra algorithm, sliding window algorithm. 
there are also lots of important data structures related coding interview questions available here on this channel for you including stacks queues priority queues hash table hash map reset hash set linked hash map linked hash set arrays linked list all those problems are solved and explained with examples and java solution code step by step so you clearly can follow those uh, logic as well as the java solutions so make sure you check out those solved coding problems they will definitely give you a really good preparation for your interview rounds <clears throat> apart from lots of solved coding problems there are also other auxiliary helpful interview specific videos we have created to help freshers and junior level developers here for example frequently asked java telephony interview questions and how to answer them java design patterns java architecture sql programming questions to the freshers where they will give you database tables they will ask you to write sql queries where you may have to use different database concepts like inner join outer join left outer join right outer join aggregate operations group band having clauses different where clause conditions everything is explained in this video step by step so you also will be able to write down sql queries and solve those kind of sql programming interview questions so make sure you check out those recently added uh, videos here they will give you good preparation for your interview rounds if you like this video if you like this java solution how we have converted roman numeral to integer values then please give it a thumbs up to the video give it a like to the video subscribe to this channel subscription is very very important because that's how the videos can reach to other people so others will also be able to watch and learn from these videos uh, click on the bell notification icon button right away so you won't miss any important postings from this channel. We often create and post videos here to help others in their interview preparation and learning different computer science concepts. Keep learning, keep coding, keep solving more varieties of coding problems and most importantly keep your learning process going on continuously and thanks for watching these videos.